be our jump for maybe two days. And we will be our jump. So our school setting will be perfect for us. And there are another very important reason. Just when you walk in here, this auditorium is called John, uh, uh, Joshua Yao. Joshua Yao is actually uh, one of our members some years ago. He actually started this school. So ever since then, this school has been our interact school and our daughter school members. So Rotary actually doing works here. That's why this is the best place for us to get training. After all, we all here to learn, and then from that we can build a better club, a better district. I mean, okay. So um, first of all, I welcome you all. I think you're all eager and ready to learn more about your roles and responsibility as a president for next year. And I would think that being a president is a mark of your personal achievement because your member chose you to lead the club going forward. And it's also your advancement in Rotary. So I wish you all the best of luck in the year 2013 and 12 and 13, where we shall work together and hopefully, and I'm sure that we will take our District 3452 to the next level. So with, your, uh, with everything being said, I would like to uh, start off the, uh, the presentation. Not long, not very long ago, 1995, I was the president-elect. And I intend the pets by any one of you here. The message for pets, now you see my, my classmate, Peter and Jojo are oh, here. Yeah. Wonderful. The reason why I show you this one is, during the time when I attended my pets, it was a very different time. PowerPoint presentation was a rocket science. So we were basically a lot of speeches, but at the end of the speeches, there are a few messages I brought home. Basically, we were told to work as hard as we could, to communicate, to motivate, and most important of all, listen to the PDGs. <laughs> and of course, try to keep your DG happy all the time. <laughs> Look, judging by the smiling face of my governor, Michael, I did a pretty good job myself. So, time has changed a lot. Although we still listen to our PDGs, always. But I see DJ David trying very hard to keep everyone happy. Okay. So, what I'm going to do today, I'm going to take you through uh, some of the important points. I will start off by introducing you to our Rotary International President for next year, Sakuchi Tanaka. And then I will talk about the goals and emphasis of Rotary International. Basically, they have important goals set for us for the three areas, like the peace, membership and Rotary Foundation. And then we'll move on to the district goals. Right, first of all, let me introduce you our leader for Rotary International 2012 and 13, President Lang Sakuchi Tanaka. But Sakuchi has the commonality of many great Rotary International presidents that came before him. He served Rotary well, he's joined Rotary for 37 years, and he's served in every level of Rotary International, ranging from district governor, director, trustees, and then one of the more remarkable achievements is that he was the chairman of the 2009 Birmingham Convention. And uh, the rest goes on. Because of his dedicated work to, um, to the Rotary, he was awarded the RI Service About Sale Award, Foundation Citation for Meritorious Service, and Distinguished Service Award. President Sakuji is a very generous man. He's a major donor, of course, Arch Club Society, and he established an endowed Rotary Peace Fellowship. In his business, he's a chairman of a Dhaka company which is responsible for some of the uh, paper distribution in Japan. And he's also the president of National Household Papers Distribution Association. And he's married to uh, Kyoko, and they're living in Yashio with three children and six grandchildren. I'm going to show you the speech he made. Look, I, I actually met uh, President Sakuchi uh, 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 in, at the uh, San Diego uh, International Assembly. He's a real warm man and uh, cordial. He reached out to all the DGEs at the, at the, at the assembly. So we are really happy and honored to have 
you know, talk, talk to him. So I'm going to show you a short version of his uh, address at the, the National Assembly on the subject of peace through service. It's about three minutes. The Rotary helps us to build peace in its most traditional sense by reducing the causes of conflict. It builds bridges of friendship and tolerance among people and nations. It helps us understand each other. Through our service, we learn that the problems that may seem large to us are really very small. We learn empathy of others. We come closer to people who seem very different from us. And we begin to understand how alive we really are. Through our Rotary service, we know that cooperation is more productive than conflict. We learn to value each other as human beings with human stories and weaknesses. We know that everyone of us has something to give and everyone has something to teach. To me, service above self is more than just a motto. It is a way of life, one that will make any life richer and more meaningful. Putting service above self allows us to focus our energies on what is truly important. We put the common good above our own. We value the needs of others over our own desires. <coughs> we think less about ourselves and more about what is best for everyone. And in this way, we help to build the foundation for a more peaceful world. This is why in 2012-2013, our Rotary theme will be Peace Through Service. Because, however, we define peace, whatever peace means to us, we can bring it closer through service. So the speech, I was actually at the audience, one of the audience there, so you probably didn't see me, but I was there. So it was a very lengthy speech, but one with passions, and everybody loved the, the, the being using the peace through service as our theme for next year. So, uh, in the next few minutes, I will try to um, summarize the passion and visions of our president, uh, International President Sakuchi, on his uh, ideas on peace through service. I have to do it right. So, now President Sakuchi was brought up in Japan after the Second World War, and in his childhood, he witnessed the devastation of war and the great suffering that the war induced upon the people of the world. It is quite understandable that he has the dream and passion in making a peaceful and harmonious world, and he believes that road peace through his international connection and the humanitarian service project and the scholarship in peace in conflict and resolutions could bring us closer to the ideal of peace. According to President-elect Fakuti, the concept of peace is one that differs among people and cultures, and is not limited to a state of no war. In countries where there are no war, peace infers harmony. Peace is a basic human need. It begins with a personal pursuit of tranquility, inner peace. Happiness in family, 
and the desire of a safe and harmonious society, and ultimately world peace. The value of compassion, tolerance, mutual understanding and respect, integrity and fairness are the cornerstones of royalty. These very values underpin our royalty humanitarian service effort in more than 200 countries all over the world. They are also the basic ingredient for peace, and that is why Rotarians have always been and will be the strong advocates of peace. Our motto, service about self, which puts the needs of the others about our own, is conducive to peace and harmony. President Lex Akuji believes that Rotary service fosters peace in many ways. As individuals, we aspire to value cooperation over competition and the common goods over personal gains. In our clubs and districts, we work to bring health, safety, human dignity to communities around the world. For Rotarians, peace is not a distant dream, but a way of life which gives us impetus to serve the poor and the underprivileged. Through Rotary service, we strive for greater peace for ourselves and for the world. President Saguchi reminds us that the future prospect of world peace rests with today's youth. And to make peace a sustainable proposition, we must engage young people in a meaningful way and empower them to carry Rotary's peace-building effort well into the future. 